Richard Cohen of C CBS said, we are going to impose our agenda on the coverage by dealing with issues and subjects we choose to deal with. Remember when O.J. Simpson was on the news for almost a year? This was done intentionally to divert our attention away from the fact with what was happening with China being given the port in Los Angeles. China Gate was going on. They didn't want us to know about that, so they focused our attention on O.J. Simpson. Somebody said he's getting married again. He wants to take another stab at it. Uh. <laughs> Richard Salent, the former president of CBS News, said, Our job is to give the people not what they want, but what we decide they ought to have. New York Times is deliberately pitched to the liberal, read that, socialist, point of view, said the foreign editor of the New York Times. He ought to know. News reporters are certainly liberal and left of center. Walter Cronkreitz, one of the best of them, as far as left as you can get, okay? By the way, opposite of right is not left. Opposite of right is wrong, mm -hmm. okay? The news media in general are liberals, okay? Number seven, destroy people's faith in their leaders. Lenin, or Stalin, is attributed with this statement. He said, those who cast the votes decide nothing. Those who count the votes decide everything. Number eight, cause the registration of all firearms so that you can eventually confiscate them. Lenin said, one person with a gun can control 100 people without one. Now picture this. You're standing there in the bank to cash a check. Somebody walks in and holds up a gun and says, everybody lay on the floor. Everybody lays on the floor. Now picture this. Every red-blooded, honest, God-fearing American citizen is packing a gun. He's not looking for trouble. He's just, he just has a gun, just in case, you know. The guy walks into the bank, pulls out a gun. Everybody lay on the floor. Instantly, 80 guns are pointed at him. <laughs> no, sir, you lay on the floor. Gun control is not about guns. It's about control. Every dictator has wanted gun control. Lenin wanted it, Stalin wanted it, Hitler wanted it. See, the one who has the gun is in control, and this goes back to the ye shall be as gods. You know, you are the boss. Goes right back to that, folks, okay? Don Boys, good friend of mine, said, gun control is not about guns, but control. Don said, you might be a liberal if you don't trust honest Americans with automatic weapons, but you do trust the government with them. You might be a liberal if you think guns are the cause of crime, but you don't think machine matches are the cause of arson. You might be a liberal if you think death penalty is government-sanctioned killing, but you don't think a prison sentence is government-sanctioned kidnapping. <laughs> I like this guy's thinking, okay? <laughs> Our founding fathers gave us the Second Amendment, which says, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. They gave us a Second Amendment so we could protect ourselves in case the government went bad. That's what it's for. See, the bad guys are not afraid of a few hundred people with guns. But if everybody's armed, it's going to be hard to take over a country if they know everybody's armed. Now, I told you in the other session that a lot of animals that eat grass have horns. You don't need horns to eat grass. You need horns as an education tool to educate the lion to stay off your back so you can eat the grass. That's what the horns are for, right? If the lions held a conference to outlaw horns on animals, they said it was dangerous to allow these untrained animals to have such dangerous weapons. They cited several examples where some animals had been accidentally, uh, accidentally been harmed by horns. You know, I bet if the lions could vote, they would vote that nobody should be allowed to have horns, wouldn't they? <laughs> I bet they would. <laughs> That's what happened when the guys got shot in Colorado. Liberal news media right away jumped on the gun control issue, and we covered all that earlier. And the issue is not about guns, folks. The real issue is should we have public schools, okay? Should we teach those kids evolution? And that's what happened in Colorado, okay? Hitler said, is at least, this is one quote I've not been able to prove, but I've had several folks tell me it's true, but I can't find it yet. He said, this year will go down in history. For the first time, a civilized nation had full gun registration. Our streets will be safer, our police more efficient, and the world will follow our lead into the future. Janet Reno said, gun registration is not enough. Waiting periods are only a step. Registration is only a step. The prohibition of private firearms is the goal. 
Ohio, Senator Metzenbaum said, what good does it do to ban some guns? All guns should be banned. Sarah Brady of the Brady Bill said, our task of creating a socialist America can only succeed when those who would resist have been totally disarmed. Bill Clinton said, and we should. Every community in the country could then start doing major weapon sweeps and then destroying the weapons, not selling them. And I misspelled his name on purpose to give it the Soviet flavor, okay? <laughs> but you know, in the first 12 months after gun owners in Australia were forced to surrender 640,000 guns to the government, they destroyed them. The program cost the government $500 million. Well, after that happened, in the first 12 months, homicides nationwide were up 3.2%. Assaults went up 8.6%. Armed robberies went up 44%. In the state of Victoria, homicides with firearms are up 300%. Figures over the previous 25 years show a steady decrease in armed robbery with firearms. There's also been a dramatic increase in break-ins and assaults of the elderly. Hmm. In 1911, Turkey established gun control. Later, one and a half million Armenians, unable to defend themselves, were slaughtered. In 1929, the Soviet Union established gun control, and for the next 30 years, 20 million dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and slaughtered. 1938, Nazi gun control said Jews are prohibited from carrying firearms and ammunition. They established gun control in 1938, and for the next six years, at least 13 million Jews and others were rounded up and exterminated because they were unable to defend themselves. Okay? China established gun control in 1935, and for the next 10 years, 20 million political dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were exterminated. Guatemala established gun control in 1964. In the next 15 years, 100,000 Mayan Indians, unable to defend themselves, were exterminated, killed, murdered. Uganda established gun control in 1970. For the next eight years, 300,000 Christians were murdered because they were unable to defend themselves. Cambodia established gun control in 1956, and from 75 to 77, one million educated people, maybe more, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Defenseless people around the country, around the world, exterminated in the 20th century about 56 million. Next time someone talks in favor of gun control, ask them, who do you want to round up and exterminate? See, with guns, we are citizens. Without guns, we are subjects. Well said, Mr. Bracken. In 1982, the town of Kennesaw, Georgia, passed a law requiring all able adults, except convicts or conscientious objectors, to have a gun. You had to have a gun in Kennesaw, Georgia. They've had only one murder from an out-of-state criminal with a gun and have had no increase in crime or violence in 12 years. I mean, if you're a criminal, you're going to go to a place like that? One of the major chains like AutoZone, it wasn't AutoZone, but one of the major auto parts chains, the government, the, their leader said, we're going to have a rule, no guns allowed in our stores. So they sent out a memo, everybody post a note on your store, no guns allowed. What does that say to a criminal? Rob me. <laughs> Isn't that what it says? Do you think that criminal's going to obey your sign? I can see it now. He's standing there holding the gun on the counter, on the guy behind the counter. The guy says, hey, can't you read that sign out there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the plan is very simple. You create a crisis, like blow up the Reichstag like Hitler did, or blow up the Muir building like our government did, to get people to accept your solution, which is more anti-terrorist laws and gun control. And if you think Timothy McVeigh blew up the Oklahoma City building, you are really duped, okay? A long story behind that. The communist definition of peace is the absence of resistance. Now, communist is based on evolution, the idea that man can be God. Karl Marx talked about evolution all through his speeches. He kept talking about historical evolution is on your side. 